Here is your lunch, Mom. Here you go. Thank you. Can I have some salt? Can't you just get that yourself? Sorry. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Grandma. How's everyone doing? I brought some gifts. Hi, Graham. Hey, Mom. I just can't do this anymore. It's it's too much. Oh, Mom, how can I help you? This is Carrie and Carrie, our nurse Carrie with Home Instead Senior Care. In the skit you just saw, it was portraying primary caregiver burnout, exhaustion, and how you can provide help via respite, a neighbor, loved one, a family member, anyone. So we had um, the client, the client's wife, and the grandmother. So Lisa was taking care of both of these people 24 seven, does not get a break, she is exhausted. Um, people need to be able to get away, have some respite time, so they are a better caregiver. Um, I actually watched my grandmother take care of my grandfather for 19 years in their own home after a major stroke. It physically wears on that primary caregiver. They get chronic disease, and if they get sick, who is going to take care of that loved one that needs that 24-7 care? You may not know what to do. A lot of people want to take the primary caregiver out to dinner and so forth. That's not always what they really need. A lot of times they need a helping hand, maybe with dishes, laundry, sitting with their loved ones so they can go get their hair done, um, do some shopping, um, any type of yard work. Those type of things are very, very helpful to the primary caregiver. They will be hesitant to ask because they may not realize they're burnt out because they're doing it 24 seven, they just keep chugging along. So they don't be offended if they don't want your help right away. Just come and bring them something, sit with them. Be like, you know what, I see you really have a lot on your plate. I really want to help and I'm not sure what I should do. Can I help you with laundry? Can I bring you a meal? Anything. Um, they will appreciate it thoroughly and then they won't be as hesitant to ask you in the future. And you can even set up like a weekly time. Every Wednesday I will come here and sit with your husband for three hours. If there's multiple children, go on the calendar. Every week, you know, one or two children take specific times where they are working with their mom and dad, providing respite care, doing chores, whatever. And then you can just do it on a monthly cycle so they know they're being supported. Because in the end, whatever they're doing for their loved one and not taking care of themselves, after a loved one's passed, they will have some pretty severe chronic diseases that are, can only be managed but can never be cured. So we see a lot of this when the children, that was Amber, she was the daughter, came home for Christmas and they'd see how stressed their parents are, or their mom, mom or dad. Um, and then cares usually get increased. So just be aware when you spend time with a neighbor, your loved ones, whoever. Just look around and really watch them, watch their body language, listen for the the way Lisa was, her face was getting red, you know, slamming down the plates. She was just to her breaking point. And we really would like it to be prevented before it gets to that point. From all of us at Home and Said Senior Care, we wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy, Healthy New Year.